glycolysis. My name is Dr. Alam Zaib. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacca. Today we will discuss glycolysis, uh, the contents of which include introduction, reaction or steps of glycolysis, uh, we will study energetics of glycolysis and we will also study the fate of pyruvate. Uh, glycolysis is uh, the process in which glucose is break down to pyruvate in the presence of certain enzymes. This process is also known as mden merhop pathway or more precisely mden merhop parnas or EMP pathway. Uh, Gustav Emden, Otto Merhab and Paranas, these were the German um, physiologist uh, or biological uh, biochemist who uh, discovered uh, the steps of this pathway. The end product are two molecules of um, pyruvate. So we need to know where this process occur. This process occur in muscles. Uh, liver, nervous tissues, while at the cellular level this process cytosol is the main site for the reactions. In plant tissues which store uh, starch such as tubers, this process is also um, there. Reactions of uh, the first Reaction of glycolysis is catalyzed by the enzyme hexokinase, uh, which mediates the transfer of ATP gamma phosphoryl group to the number 6 of glucose. The reaction occurs through the nucleophilic attack of glucose 6 hydroxyl group on the gamma phosphorus atom, which yield glucose 6 phosphate in ADP. This is the first two reaction in which pre energy of ATP hydrolysis is uh, consumed and we obtain glucose 6 phosphate. In the second reaction, uh, glycolysis uh, involves isomerization uh, of glucose 6 phosphate uh, to uh, fructose 6 phosphate by glucose isomerase or paspohexose isomerase the reaction um, uh, the isomerization to take place a six member glucopyranose ring must first be converted to its linear form uh, this step is catalyzed by proton uh, donation probably from a lysine amino group an enzyme base probably a glutamate carboxylate group abstract the now acidic proton from C2 to form cis any diol ring intermediate. The proton is then replaced on C1, forming fructose in its linear form. So, in the first uh, second reaction, we obtain fructose 6 phosphate from uh, glucose 6 phosphate. The, in the third reaction, a glycolysis, a phosphoryl group is transferred from ATP to fructose phosphate by the enzyme phosphofructokinase. Uh, this brings the net investment of the pathway into two uh, ATPs, so two ATPs are consumed. The product of the reaction is fructose 1 6 bis phosphate. Phosphofructokinase catalyzes the rate limiting stick up step of glycolytic pathway, so you must remember that the first one and this one, these two reactions which are phosphorylation uh, um, reactions are the rate limiting step. In the next reaction, uh, the enzyme aldolase cleave the 6 carbon monosaccharide fructose 1, 6 bisphosphate into 3 carbon molecule glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate. Mm, you can see here that the lysine uh, and tyrosines from the enzyme base, they are participating in uh, the proton transfer in the breakdown pathway. So, um, a tyrosine side chain in its phenolate form then extract a proton from 4-hydroxyl group of the substrate. 
this initiate in a dual cleavage reaction between a substrate number three and number four carbon treated one molecule of gristle rehydrate three phosphate and in amine intermediate so the in amine um, uh, the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is released by the enzyme and proceed along the glycolytic pathway. The enamine is protonated by the tyrosine side chain and the resulting uh, aminium uh, cation is hydrolyzed to yield a reaction product dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Uh, dihydroxyacetone phosphate uh, is uh, interconvertible to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. So that is our fifth uh, reaction. <coughs> the fifth reaction uh, involves uh, the catalysis of um, catalysis of uh, by triose phosphate isomerase. Uh, in this uh, reaction, isomerization of dihydroxyacetone phosphate to glyceraldehyde three phosphate occurs. In this reaction, carboxylate group of glutamate residue acting as a general base abstract a proton from carbon um, atom one of the dihydroxyacetone phosphate um, while a histidine side chain acting as a general acid proteinates the carbonyl oxygen um, and then at the end we obtain glycerally hard three phosphate so uh, this uh, this reaction is uh, this reaction can tell us that uh, at the end uh, from glucose to uh, glycerally hard three phosphate uh, one glucose yield two molecule of glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Uh, the next reaction is the uh, date of the glyceraldehyde three phosphate dehydrogenase. Uh, this reaction um, uh, uh, catalyzes. Uh, the oxidation addition of a phosphate group to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. The reaction begins with the nucleophilic attack of an enzyme sulfhydryl group on the substrate carbonyl carbon to yield uh, thiohemiacetyl intermediate. This intermediate is then, um, uh, it then oxidized by direct transfer of a hydride ion to NADA to yield NADH and a sile thioester intermediate. The NADH product is replaced by NAD and then inorganic phosphate nucleophilically attacks the carbon, carbonyl carbon of acyl thioester intermediate to yield the reaction product 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. So we have one acyl phosphate group. The next reaction is catalyzed by uh, phosphoglycerate kinase. In this reaction, the synthesis of ATP is derived by the high negative free energy of hydrolysis of the 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate uh, acyl phosphate. That, uh, in this reaction, which is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase and occur by nucleophilic attack of ADP's terminal phosphoryl group on the C1 phosphoryl group of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to yield 3-phosphoglycerate in ATP. Uh, since two molecules um, uh, of ATP are generated per each glucose molecule, reaction number next eight is uh, by is catalyzed by the phosphoglycerate mutase enzyme, which transfer phospho phosphoryl group from three phosphate group rope to its two position, yielding two phosphoglycerate. Uh, The active enzyme contain a phosphohistidine group, phosphohistidine uh, residue. Uh, the active enzyme contain a phosphohistidine residue. Uh, the reaction begins with the enzyme transfer uh, transfer this phosphoryl groups to three phosphoglycerate, uh, uh, yielding uh, two three bisphosphoglycerate which remains bound to the enzyme. Uh, the phosphoryl group at the position 3 of this intermediate is then transferred to histidine side chain yielding uh, another reaction to phosphoglycerate. And then the reaction uh, 9 uh, enolase convert phos, uh, 
convert to passport to passport in all pyruvate. So in this reaction, um, uh, there is no net loss of energy. Uh, you can see that um, uh, the last reaction is the final reaction of glycolysis um, and it is also the second reaction in which free energy is recorded in the form of ATP. Here the synthesis of ATP is derived by the high uh, by the high negative free energy of hydrolysis of phosphoenone pyruvate. In the first step of this reaction, a phosphoryl group is transferred from phosphoenol to ADP to form a null pyruvate uh, and then uh, the enol pyruvate uh, then tetramerized to form the reaction product pyruvate. It is highly uh, exergonic reaction and two ATPs are formed. Now energetics of um, this pathway, the glycolysis, uh, you, there are two phases in this glycolytic pathway. First is preparatory phase in which the reaction of hexokinase um, consume one ATP and the reaction of phosphopractokinase also consume one ATP. So a total uh, ATP consumed in the first phase is two. The next phase that we call uh, pair phase which start from glycerylhyde 3 phosphate uh, onward to pyruvate the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme yield uh, two molecule of NADH which means uh, 6 ATP. The next enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase also produce two ATPs uh, and the last one pyruvate kinase also produce two ATPs. So the la fourth and fifth uh, in this case produce uh, four ATP. So the net ATP produce uh, in the pair phase are 10. Uh, so overall uh, 10 minus 2 is equal to ATP. So the overall energetics is uh, power mention of 8 ATPs. Now the next uh, point is what happened to pyruvate. Uh, there are two conditions. The first one is aerobic condition in which acetyl CoA is formed in uh, is further metabolized and uh, TCA cycle for the sake of energy and the second condition is an aerobic condition uh, in which several possible products are formed but uh, most of the important ones are the formation of lactate and ethanol. The first uh, um, is lactate formation, how lactate is formed uh, lactate in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase is uh, uh, pyruvate conver is converted to lactate in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase. The, the normal plasma lactate level is 0.3 to 1.3 millimol per liter. Uh, impaired lactate formation results in lactic acidosis, which may be linked to several uh, health conditions. Uh, Ethanol or alcoholic fermentation pyruvate is converted to pyruvate decarboxylase into acetaldehyde, which is converted to ethanol by alcohol dehydrogenase. And here, um, uh, alcohols uh, formed in these reactions uh, may, may be uh, ethanol or other products. Alcohol formation is also uh, called alcohol fermentation. Uh, this process required in an aerobic ar organism as well as in aerobic condition. Uh, and while this process, this ethanol permission process has several applications.